Now, you could say that Nollywood movies are one of Nigeria's biggest exports and also a sort of cultural ambassador for the country as well. Over the years, the storylines and the production quality have gotten better and um, the popularity of the films have increased. Now, joining me in the studio is Mary Njoku, an actress and the CEO of Rock Studios. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Now, let's you. just dive straight in. How much of a role do you think Nollywood is playing on people's perceptions of Nigeria and Nigerians? I believe Nollywood is the spotlight of Nigeria. Nollywood brings Nigeria to the map. Like, I remember when I went to Barbados for my honeymoon, and I, I have fans, people recognize Nigeria. They know when they want to talk about Nigeria, they talk about Nollywood. So Nollywood is the eye through which people around the world see Nigeria. Do you think it's a good representation of Nigeria? Uh, yes. Like, for me, I believe in telling stories the way it is. I don't believe in cutting corners or as in covering some things. No. Tell the world what's really happening. If it's really good, tell the world it's good. If it's beautiful, tell the world it's beautiful. Nollywood is original. Yeah. Now, um... You are the CEO of Rock Studios and you've produced some of the really popular, well-known uh, movies. So what is it about your productions that makes them stand out, makes them so memorable to people all over the world? At Rock Studios, we, we, we bring in the glam, the, the production qualities, the, the stars from Nollywood to TV. Before now, TV was not as popular as, as movies. So when Rock Studios came to be, we started bringing in Nollywood stars to TV and people really appreciate it. So it's different. And which, I know this is a cheeky question, but which one do you think is a bit more popular, TV or movies now? Now, mm, what makes Nollywood popular is the stars. So wherever the stars go, the fans will follow. So I can't really say for now. But do you think it's slightly easier to maybe do a television production and get the kind of great quality than it is for a movie or...? No. TV series. I just finished my last, last TV series, uh, Single Ladies. I shot for over 50 days. Usually you shoot a normal Nollywood movie it's between 10 to 15 days, mm -hmm. but I shot for 50 days. So it's longer hours, it's, it's time consuming, you have to pay attention to details, you have to put that extra touch that would make someone come back to watch the program next week. So it's, it's more difficult. Now, you mentioned about having fans sort of all over the world and being recognised, and I know that your Rock Studios are launching a platform, a, a channel here in the UK. Why is it so important to have a dedicated platform like this? In the UK. In the UK for people in the diaspora. UK has um, a huge population of um, Caribbean and Africans who love Nollywood. And I, I am so happy when I walk on the streets and people ask me, when is the season two of First Act Town coming out? Like, when is this coming out? Husbands of Lagos have not seen the season two. And um, when I ask them, how do you even access this? It's in Africa. How do you, they say, okay, we saw it on Roku, it's, on, it's online, it's, I watched the DVD. So I felt the fans, they demanded for it. They, they, they really need this. If I have to, to, to take, transport Nollywood from Nigeria, why not start from the UK? So it's a dedicated channel, 24-7. How much of a challenge was it to get that set up? Uh, content is king. At Rock, we've been very busy for the last three years. Today, we have like 12 TV series and counting and over 150 movies. So we've been very busy. So it's, 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 we kind of saw it coming. This content has to go somewhere. So it's not been a very big challenge, no. It's not been a challenge. No. And with the launch of a new channel, can fans expect anything new that they haven't seen before? Yes, yes, yes. We, as I am here, we're still shooting. Rock Studio is still working, so we don't. We yes, yes, brand new Nollywood movies, brand new series, like fresh, very fresh. And finally, just before we wrap up, as somebody in the industry, I mean, what would you, what would be your dream? Where would you like to see Nollywood Productions in the next 10 years? Mm. Mm. I want to see them everywhere. I want to see, I want the, the, the Nollywood story 
told everywhere. I want people to see and appreciate Nollywood because it's all about the stories people can connect to. Like Africa has beautiful stories of love, jealousy, and everything. You can just name it. Stories that no matter what, what race you are from, you can connect to the stories. I need Nollywood to be everywhere. It will be everywhere in the next 10 years. I see us getting there. Yes. How do you see us getting there? I think that's my last question. Okay. Um, goodbye doing what we're doing by like rock rock is launching in the uk for instance so it's like bringing nollywood to the uk and hopefully would we'll, we just go where the fans lead us like i've seen people calling oh we don't have something like this in america what's happening i've had so many calls and i've had so many messages on social media we just follow the fans yeah thank you so much thank you mary thank you very much